Hello, good morning, guys. So today is another day, and I spent like um four hours last night from twelve to almost three o'clock, and I'm fixing my crashes. So what I found is a fix for a higher resolution and high refresh rates monitor. So whenever I activate FreeSync, even on twenty point two point two, my PC crashed. So there are problems whenever I um, play games on high refresh rate. Although not every game, but most uh, most of the time, Final Fantasy XIV. So as you all know, this is <clears throat> the only game that I play right now. Although uh, I just finished downloading Horizon and I tested it out last night. And so far, so good. Um, although the import is a bit uh, lackluster because I'm having some stutters or some sort the game is not that smooth but yeah so far I haven't had any crash yet so what I did was uh, I installed a patch that was uh, provided in the forums and it was just a third party software that I had to install and it will patch your um, API drivers and I mean AMD API drivers and it will patch your API KMDAG.sys I think so it causes the TDR delay that causes the bl blue screen black screen so Currently, I'm using the 144, uh, 165 hertz monitor, which is the VG27AQ Tough Gaming Monitor. It's a 2K resolution monitor, so 1440p. Yes. So, yeah, after I bought this uh, monitor, I started having a lot of blue screens. Although I I had blue screens before, but not that much on my 1080p monitor so what i did was i downloaded this patch and so far it's been running pretty good so <clears throat> i will teach you that after this message <laughs> guys we're back so what we have to do first is to download uh, the DDU which is the display driver uninstaller so we have to download this and remove our current driver if you're not using the 20.2.2 so we just have to uh, double click this so it will prompt you that you have to do it on safe mode so i already uninstalled my driver so i'm going to show you how to do it so you just have to select the gpu on this uh drop down menu so once you selected the gpu select your current driver which is amd and click on clean and restart so after you've done that you can install your you can start installing your um your driver which is the 20.2.2 so how do you download it so you just go to AMD drivers so click on 5700 series 5700 series and 5700 XT so once you're there you can go down to uh, Windows 10 64-bit edition and get uh, go to previous drivers. So once you're there, you can choose previous driver. So you have to download this file right here. So this is the Adrenaline 2020 edition, 20.2.2 recommended. So this is uh, released on uh, March 5, 2020. So you download that. So this is the most stable driver that I've been using recently. So if you want you can try the 20.4.2 i guess is the most recommended I'm not really sure so yeah let's try and see 
yeah it's the 20.4.2 which is the most recommended so you have to uh choose which one uh is the most stable graphics driver you have so next thing is uh not everyone is having an issue with the driver so there are some uh sapphire users that they say that their xt 5700 xt is pretty stable so currently i'm using the gigabyte oc edition so um this fix is for those who are using 144 hertz or uh higher and 2k resolution so once you've installed your driver do not touch anything just keep everything and set everything to default so this is my current settings right now so i uh disabled all the hotkeys and the overlay then i went to display i i mean graphics so underneath the advanced you have to turn this off sometimes it uh causes uh crashes though I recently tried it enabled and so far I haven't had any crash yet so yeah for my display I'm using dual display which is I have the first is the display port um, VG27 AQ and the HDMI which is the IP24 B1 and vision uh, 1080p monitor so the other monitor doesn't support free sync and the other one supports free sync so everything is set to default graphics wise so don't touch anything here because once you touched it uh, you cannot disable it even if you disable it so you have to uh, reinstall your driver so that's what I've observed so yeah set it to default standard so once you've done that you can now install the um ati patcher so ati k m d a g patcher so once you've done that you just run it like that so you just have to run it and click yes once you patched it that's it so yeah. so that's basically the tutorial that i did um I reduced my black screens to like rarely and I think almost no crash at all so this is what you can do if you were playing Final Fantasy 14 and recently you have a lot of problems with black screen crash fatal direct X errors and you can also fix your crash on some other games by doing this because some uh, I mean Final Fantasy 14 uh doesn't seem to go well with higher refresh rates monitor and uh high resolution monitor so i'm not sure if that is true but for my situation that is really happening so i am able to stream and run my final fantasy final fantasy 14 without any problems so yeah i am currently using streamlabs right now which on my previous videos i said i cannot stream i cannot record and play my games while using streamlabs so currently i am now using streamlabs so yeah that's pretty very good i might be able to stream again one of these days if i'm not busy so yeah hopefully this will fix your um crash issues black screen green screen and no signal uh, issues on AMD drivers so hopefully guys uh, this video really helped you and yeah thank you for those people who posted it on the forums about this API patcher so yeah mainly this fix is for those who have higher refresh rates monitor and uh, above 2k resolution monitor so although you can still try if you like because you know this might work on all of uh, those lower resolution and refresh rates monitors so yeah that's it for today guys this is a pretty short video so I just want to share with you my <laughs> my fix uh, and hopefully not my frustration so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye